So today we're going to ride trail EP100. This is the Mojave Desert on the south edge of Last Chance Canyon. Headed kind of towards Ramsburg, a little southeast. This trail is a fairly smooth dirt road. The first place it will take us to is a place called Bickle Camp. Bickle Camp in this area where people have gathered stuff up from the desert that was left behind by miners and put it in a little camp area and I think they take donations if you want to drive by and look at it. And then we'll come to the fork that takes us up to Schmidt Tunnel. Now we parked our truck and trailer out on Ransburg Red Rock Road which is uh, the beginning of trail EP100. So we'll just ride along here and look at a little to the rain. Occasionally on the left of the trail here, you'll see some wooden barricades and those are areas that uh, have been blocked off where people made trails that aren't trails and they're trying to stop riders from using those trails. As you can see, we passed the truck. Got to pay a little attention out here. There are different types of traffic. A uh, pickup can get on here on this road real easy without four wheel drive or uh, causing too much of an issue for the driver. Again, this is trail EP15. You're headed almost straight towards Mojave right now. Okay, as you can see on that big pipe there to the right, it says tunnel. And we're gonna turn uh, left here, which keeps us back on EP15, and head towards Schmidt Tunnel. If you'd have taken a right there, you'd have gone maybe a quarter mile, and there would have been a sign that said you were entering Red Rock Canyon National Park, and there was no riding beyond that point. We're able to run about 45 to 50 miles an hour on this road. It's fairly smooth and no real big surprises. We're coming up here on what they call Bickle Camp. 
shortly on the left. And again, this is where uh, some people in the desert have rounded up things they found, piled it up, and there's a few of them. They call themselves volunteers that camp around it, and occasionally somebody will be there. Most of the time, nobody's there. So there was a sign, if you could see it, said Bickle Camp. I'm going to make a left, and it's in here about a quarter mile. We're not going to stop. It's kind of a horseshoe parking lot. We'll just kind of horseshoe through it and let you see what it's about in case you wanted to come and look around at a later time. You can see they got a little picnic area, an old structure or two, and then several older RVs that the volunteers stay in. Not a whole lot to look at. So we're just gonna, it's kind of a cul-de-sac. We're gonna go back out. It's gonna dead in on EP-15, and we're gonna take EP-15 south. This is trail EP15, back left on it. We're now headed south towards Schmidt Tunnel. So shortly up the road here, we're going to come to a T. And at that T, if we go to the left, this is taking us down EP15, back towards where we're parked, which would be east. And then if we continue on straight, it's going to be turning into EP130. And it's about a mile to Schmidt Tunnel.
Alright, so right in front of me there, there's a barrel by the bush. That says Schmidt Tunnel. So if we continue on this road, this will take us up to Schmidt Tunnel and you can look on the mountaintop if you're close, but we're gonna turn here and stop. So this is Schmidt Tunnel and that's the aerial view from the drone. At the top of the screen, you can see some people walking out of the tunnel. It's about a quarter mile long. It's tall enough to walk through and it comes out on the other side of the mountain. It's This is the road that uh, leads to the house where the people used to live that dug the tunnel. Uh, go on the internet and look up Burl Schmidt Tunnel. There's several different stories. There's always a lot of people here going in and out of the tunnel. You can see the other cars parked. The road going directly up to the tunnel was so dusty today because of all this traffic. The camera lens was dirty and it was hard to see, so not going to use that footage. But you can see here that there's a big area. This is a popular meeting place where people will stop on their rides in the desert and have lunch and visit and play music and get together and going to zoom down. There's a lot of uh, the desert in bloom this type of year. I'll give you a little shot at that, then kind of pan the parking lot, and then we'll get back on trail EP100 headed east um, and go down and hit EP100 and head back out to the main road. The other thing you will need to bring if you're going to walk through the tunnel is a flashlight. It's very dark. It's not confined. It's a large tunnel. You could probably drive a Volkswagen through it. It's very, very breathtaking view. At the other end, it overlooks the valley. You'll be able to look all the way in to Mojave, Jawbone, Randsburg. It's uh, really a nice view. Okay, so now we're back on EP15 headed east. It's probably three or four miles down to where we're going to catch EP100. We'll be headed south on EP100 for five or six miles where we will come out on Red Rock Ransburg Road. Uh, it's a good place to park your vehicle. There's a BLM kiosk there, usually with maps and information. It's a good jumping off park spot if you're going to Ramsburg or Schmidt Tunnel.
Looks like we got some uh, motorcycles pulled off up here on the left. Let's stop and make sure everybody's okay. Okay, so they wanted to know where Burl Schmidt Tunnel is. We're going to give them directions. They're about a mile, a mile, half away, and they thought they'd already passed them. that building right there on the hill? No. But if you go straight, you'll run into the mountain, so you just got to go left. All right. Thank you very much. You bet. And you're like a mile from the end. That's funny. That's funny. Thank you. You bet. All right, so we got them squared away. They know where they're going, and we're still on EP15 headed east, and we're gonna head up to uh, EP100. Okay, so we're still on EP15 headed uh, southeast, and shortly we're going to make a right-hand turn on EP100 right here, and this is where we're going to head up to a place called Cable House. It's an old cabin up on top of the mountain, held down with big steel cables, and people have gone back and they're gradually fixing it up and leaving furniture items and things inside the cabin. It's just a spot with a great view of the valley down in, around Mojave and Ransburg. Okay, this is going to be trail EP207. We're going to make a right here at EP207. We're going to go up the trail about oh, three quarters of a mile and it's going to fork. And no matter which side of the fork you take, you come out at the same place and we call it Cable House. The trail up toward the top gets rocky. It's not bad. I put it in four-wheel drive just as a precaution, but it's not unsafe or scary in any way. Okay, so this is what we call Cable House. 
right up on top of the hill. The wind is always blowing up here. You can see the cables strapped all the way over the house to uh, hold it down, I guess. It could leave. And uh, we're just gonna run up, make a quick peek in the door. Uh, we've seen it before. Just thought we'd point it out to you. So now we're headed back down the same trail. We're gonna go back down to EP100, head south. And it's three or four miles to the main highway. So here we're back at EP100. We're gonna make a right. Uh, this road can get quite a bit of traffic on it, so a little heads up for oncoming cars or dirt bikes. And uh, we'll just ride along and uh, head back to the truck. Um, south on EP100 towards Red Rock Ramsburg Road. And here comes some of the traffic I warned you about and I doubt if a Toyota Prius has any business up here. So if you look out on the horizon ahead of me, you're looking just almost right out in Mojave. That's a big drive lake bed out there. There's a railroad track that runs through it. And if you ride along the road on the railroad track headed west, you'll ride right to Jawbone Store and Jawbone Ranger Station. When we get down to the bottom of the road, to the road here, where it's Ransburg Red Rock Road, if you follow EP 100 across the road, it will take you to Randsburg, and it's about a 45 minute ride to Randsburg. You go on the weekend, most of the cafes and antique shops are open and be a large group of people usually there.
so we're coming to the EP 100 in and you'll be able to see our vehicle parked up here on the left and there's some other people parked there as well and about 100 feet behind that pickup is Ransburg Red Rock Road gonna flip a U and load it in the trailer and that would be Ransburg straight ahead and that would end this ride. <laughs>